I don't know why every time I do one of these videos, I look scruffy. Yep. Back at it again, man. Started without y'all at first. Well, I've been had it broke down just a little bit, but not too much. Um, that's my 2006 ZX10 with, I used to look dusty uh, because I've been riding that one. But I'm about to start doing some work. Doing some work to them. It's the bearings I got in the package. Uh, took out the gas tank, took out the breather box. Getting ready to start breaking down this engine. I done did this in the loose box. I'm gonna say at least about three or four times already. I just love this bike. Uh, I went from a, which I still had the other motor, but I went from a 2006 motor to a 2008 motor. This the 08 motor. Around about the same mileage, they both spin bearings. Around about that same particular mileage spot. Let's see, I bought this motor, it had 15, no, 17,000 miles on it. I rode it, I probably put about, uh, I wanna say about another 10, maybe eight and a half or something like that, miles on it. Um, and the motor is always spinning bearing around about 22, 20, 20, 22, 25,000 miles. Because the second motor that did the same thing around about the same mileage. Um, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild this one because I like this 08 motor plus I had uh, really no motor work done to it, to be honest with you. I just have an ECU flash and the tune. That's probably about it. Uh, but she is stretched a little, uh, stretched a little bit. This bike is dusty, man. It's been sitting up for some months. But I'm tired of riding that. I want to get back to riding this. I like this one a little bit better. <laughs> to be honest with you. No, no uh, fits against the uh, Zook fans. Zook Nation. Um, I like this Kawasaki a little bit more better. It's a lot lighter. Of course, it's a 1000 versus a 1300. Uh, but it's a lot lighter, a lot more durable. I, believe it or not, I can hang curls a lot more in this one than I can that one so that chicken script versus that chicken script I was doing like a buck 80 uh, maybe a maybe uh, a little bit faster than that on that bike going around a curve not not really a curve leaning on the highway and the whole bike was just like dancing I was scared as hell. <laughs> I had to slow down. But this one, shit, I done had this bike at like 190. And, uh, yeah, like 190. I think it was 190. And, it, uh, she, she hang good. I love her. She hang good, man. I just got my new Deadpool stickers in for. I'm about to lace this one up with Deadpool. Um, once I get done with it. I did my red and black Zook. I had a uh, I had a 2005 Suzuki 750. I love that bike. Well, I did everything to that bike. It's on my book. It's on the book. Um, I ain't got no Instagram or nothing like that. So, but it is on the book. Uh, I did everything to that black and red bike. Everything, and they trashed it after I sold it. I tried to buy it back. Um, Probably about twice, and each time I was just like, fuck it. Because <laughs> I had the 1000, the 1000 is good, man. I love this 1000 for some reason. 
but you know I could go up up in years on a 1000 but I really can mess with this bike the most like this man I didn't did this motor I swear when I first bought the bike I bought it with a blown motor uh, I still I pay like $2,200 for a bike with a blown motor uh, it really didn't have a blown motor uh, at the time I didn't know really much about uh, working on the motor or the bike but the oil cooler it was a bad oil cooler so it just kept leaking it kept uh, well I thought it was a head a blown head um, a blown head gasket but it kept leaking the oil into the water and then I found like a video showing me you know you could you could you know test those so I, I did a test on it and sure enough, it was it was bad. But after I done did a head job on this bike, <laughs> man, I went through like three head jobs because I thought I was doing something wrong, bro. Man, kind of find out. Turn that back around. Move that little guy right there. That's the, the filter, but attached. What the filter is attached to is called a, a oil cooler. So, but I'm about to get back to work. I don't know what time it is. Uh, it's 9.56. I'm probably going to spend about another hour on it. At least I can get all the wires, everything disconnected, all the water in there. I got all the water out. And that's what that is right there. It's oil everywhere else. But water, I haven't even took the oil out of here. Still got to take the exhaust off. Um, I should have at least, well, no, because, damn. Excuse my French, but uh, the one tool that I use to get the exhaust bolts off I left it at work so I'll bring it home tomorrow but I can at least get it butt naked to, to the point to where all I have is a couple of bolts to take out of this thing and I can drop it down well y'all I'll holler at y'all on the next one man y'all stay up